So Miami seven and five. I've, I've seen a lot of links to that Tony the Tiger Sun Bowl in El Paso where Miami seems to go. All, I've seen a link to the Military Bowl, Gasparilla Bowl. What do you where? First of all, where, Rudy, do you think Miami ends up? We're not going to El Paso because nope. the only time Miami goes to El Paso is when they fire their head coach. Yeah. <laughs> Every single time. Every single time. Al Golden was in the commentary yeah. box when they fired Randy Shannon against Notre Dame. Uh, then yeah. Mark Richt was in the yeah. commentary box and they fired Al Golden. And then Mario Cristobal was there for the yeah. Sun Bowl. So like, right. I, I don't think we're going to, to El Paso. I, I, I don't know. I guess we don't have a connection to Shreveport anymore because I know that we usually end up there. Ooh, it's like yeah, a lower tier game. I don't know about that. I, I don't, I, I, I always, the tie-ins always confuse me, especially with all the conference realignment. I don't know who goes to what. I just know Sun yeah. Bowl, there is still a tie-in. Yeah. And then uh, I don't know if the pinstripe bowl is still a thing or not. I was, mm. that was miserable. I went to that yeah. game against Wisconsin. It wasn't so much oh. that the game was miserable, yeah. Yeah. but yeah, yeah. for anybody who, if you're planning on going, don't get the seats closest to the field. Cause that's a baseball stadium. And the sight line is, not the same. See, if you had been on the Game Time app and you could look at your seat view, you would have known. I saw when you did this. That was that was a great plug for showing how you could see your seat view. <laughs> and if the code doesn't work, try it in all caps, just in case. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Oh, okay. So, um, possible opponents, like the one that would excite me and most of you the most, because they just never play each other, would be USC. It, it is a possibility. It looks like both teams probably will have seven and five records, even though like you may not actually see Caleb Williams because there's a pretty good chance he opts out of that bowl. I don't know why he would play in the Sun Bowl or whatever, uh, but Miami versus USC, regardless of who the quarterbacks are, that would be exciting to me. Uh, Utah has been thrown around a lot as a potential opponent. I think that would be pretty cool. We were, t I think it was off air. We were talking about, Hey, Cristobal, Cam McCormick versus Utah. There's a lot of history there. Yeah. Coach Cristobal would be foaming at the mouth to play Utah again, just because of what Utah gave Oregon in his last year, even his last couple years, because I think he beat Cristobal either two or three in a row to keep them from the PAC 12 title and just, talk about physical style of football and two guys that want to out physical each other with their teams. That's Utah. And that's crystal ball with first Oregon and now Miami. So I think both would be really great matchups. I would love to play USC. One is somebody who always liked watching USC yeah. for a while. I thought they were kind of like the Miami of the West when it came to how much they were hated in some of their more successful years at Matt Liner, Reggie Bush, Lendale white and all of those guys. But uh, I would love to play them because I mean, granted, even if you don't see Caleb Williams, as uh, Rocky likes to say, their defense isn't quite that good, but we're also probably not going to see our best offense. Right. If, will we talk about later to see what happens in that? I think it's just an interesting matchup because these bowl games, it can only give you momentum going into the offseason to work with. And if you could say also, you're, you're coaching against Lincoln Riley, who's probably been one of the biggest you know, winners of the transfer, transfer portal. You didn't really see the success this year. You saw it last year with yeah. their team and how much they turned over the roster, like 50% or something like that, or 45%. I think there's a recruiting aspect in playing USC to say, oh. look what we're doing with our freshmen. Again, it's kind of like the same narrative with Florida State, but against another national power that has had, granted, they don't have the success this year with their record, but when USC is good, the spotlight is always on them.